Hey guys, it's Rick from Maple Syrup Tech, and I'm coming to you in a little bit of a different format today because basically we're just going to be looking at one little update and piece of news to uh, the AM4 platform. It's considering one manufacturer of motherboards, which is ASRock. Uh, I have some good news. It's that they released finally the update for the uh, for their BIOS, basically, which gives you a lot, lot more RAM uh, compatibility. So we're just going to look really quick at the site where you can get it exactly. So if you go to the products page here, motherboards, most of you already know this, by the way, I'm just going over it for anyone that would not know. Um, we're going to select the AM4 platform here, and you have each and every model of the AM4 motherboards that they've released so far. So in my case, we're going to select the killer SLI motherboard. We're going to go to the support section and BIOS. The reason why this is so important is that basically the microcode has been updated to microcode 1.0.0.6 from AMD, which now gives uh, RAM compatibility technically up until uh, to 4000 megahertz, which is a huge leap to before, which most of these motherboards were sometimes topping out at around uh, 2666 or something like that and also there are more uh, categories in between so for example instead of just 2933 or 2966 you now have 3066 so you have a lot more options to be able to get your ram compatible and running at higher speeds and uh, this came out by the way friday on uh, june 9th uh, and I looked around, it's up there for every motherboard. So every motherboard you have, sometimes like for, for this mother it's 2.50, but for example, for the Tai Chi it would be 2.40. What you need to look for is just to make sure that the AGE, AGESA code is says updated to 1.0.0.6, like you see right here. Um, and basically you're good to go. And just to prove to you what a huge leap it was, is I had pr pretty much the worst case scenario, which was I'm running 16 gigabytes of RAM, but over four DIMMs, so four times four gigabytes. And for the moment, the max I was able to get my board running at was uh, 2400 megahertz uh, with a higher timings than what came with the XMP profile. And uh, the good news is, this is really the update we were waiting for because by just selecting the XMP profile, as you can see here on my CPU Z, uh, unfortunately I cannot make the window any bigger, but we're gonna go to the memory section. Obviously you have to multiply by two. My RAM is now running at its uh, factory default, which is a 20, uh, 3000 megahertz, but for this it's 2966. So, uh, so basically it's running with all the timings and I didn't have to do anything other than select the XMP profile. So uh, the microcode update from uh, AMD was really, so far with the, obviously I haven't tested it with very many kits because I only have one kit and one AM4 board, but so far it seems to be the update what we were waiting for, the update we were promised since the beginning, because now it seems that you can load automatically into your XMP profiles. And when I'm saying it's the worst case scenario, it's because since I'm using four DIMMs, you generally have, you always put a little bit more strain on the memory controller and it's a little harder to hit your XMP profile, especially on new platforms like this. But right now, I'm having absolutely no problem. It was a one-click solution. So I'm very happy to know that ASRock pumped this uh, update out before. Uh, I wasn't expecting it, honestly, till the end of June. They managed to pop it out before the 15th, which I'm really happy with. Um, so anyway, for all of you out there with ASRock motherboards, if you haven't updated your BIOS in a while, this is the one you want to get. There's a lot you could have skipped in between that were just tweaks and honestly gave nothing extra. But this last one is really uh, the one we were waiting for. So I wanted to put that little bit of information out there. Um, and basically, you know, as always, be careful when updating your BIOS for anyone that's doing it for the first time. Make sure that you're, uh, you're, on, you're, you're basically, you're not going to lose power or anything like that when you're updating it. Obviously, you can't, exp you can't control uh, if your electricity goes out, but it's very important that when you're updating the BIOS, uh, the computer doesn't shut off or that you don't have any problems like that because it can ruin your motherboard. So do be careful when you're updating your BIOSes, but honestly, uh, for RAM, for, for basically memory issues, uh, it's worth it right now. I would take the risk. This is one of the updates I would not uh, not skip, basically. 
So uh, for those out there that knew and know knew all of this, well, I'm sorry if the video wasn't useful to you. But for the people that didn't know it was out, uh, I'm glad to get to you the information and basically to let you know that uh, basically uh, so far it's working for me. I'd like anyone in the comments down below, you know, so that we can get this video rolling for other people watching it. If you were having trouble loading the XMP profiles and you have this update and it's loading, please uh, let us know what type of kit you're running. For me, it was a Crucial Ballistics 16 gigabyte kit rated for 3000 megahertz over its base four times four gigabytes. So that would be mine. Just leave in the comments down below a description if it worked, if it didn't, so we can get, you know, get the information out there for other people. So um, keep tuned to the channel because I'm having my ultra budget build come out, which is a computer that is going to run games for under a hundred bucks. I'm um, just fishing around for a last minute cheapo case. As soon as I have the case, all the other parts are there and the video will be up very soon. So keep tuned for that. And uh, like I said, as usual, likes are always appreciated. Uh, subscriptions are even better. And I'll see you guys next time.